Hello guys and welcome to today's video. The weather is starting to get worse here um, in Scotland so I'm very sorry if the the colours and light is changing. Um, I, I can't really do anything about that. But you guys, welcome to today's video. Now before I start, I've had a couple of comments on the last couple of videos I guess. I have been filming on a different camera the past couple of videos just for pure simple reason that it's easier to film on this camera because my other camera the batteries have been acting up so I haven't been able to film on it like my professional camera so I'm on my vlog camera which also means the frame rate of this camera doesn't match the frame rate of some of the music videos so it means a lot of the music videos the timings of the music video don't match the oh that was weird a battery just rolled it towards me okay Spooky, but okay. Um, but they don't match the music video timing. So if my camera is filming 24 frames per second, but that video is filming 60 frames per second, then these ain't going to match, and one's going to sound slower or faster. So that's probably why a lot of the videos have sounded a little bit different in pitch, a little slower, a little faster. And I'm very sorry about that. I can't do anything about it because I'm using this camera. I can't do anything about it because I can't film on that other camera, and I can't fix it in editing. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, but I can't do anything about it, so yeah. Um, just in case you guys were wondering. But today I'm doing something a little different because someone has kept asking me for this song in every single comment on every single video. So I'm gonna do it and give it a chance because I have never heard of this person. I don't know who they are, I don't know what their history is, don't know what they sound like, don't have a clue. They're called Lil Lotus. Um, and it's called Run Home. This person's suggested Run Home. This is like the latest suggestion, I think. So I went for this one, since it was the latest suggestion, um, and it was released a year ago. So I'm very interested in seeing what it's all about. I have no idea what to expect, because it's completely different. It's nothing that I've reacted to before. So let's see what it's like. Please subscribe, guys. There's an advert on there now. Please subscribe. And also uh, follow me on Instagram, it would be really appreciated. Let's just get this out there. Oh, it's just a slow starter. There we go. I like the guitars so far. It's very alternative music sounding. Nice. This is more mainstream sounding rap, I guess. It's not really, I don't know if it's, it's, I would call it rap, but it is, I guess. I'm reading the comments at the moment. Oh, screaming. Wow. This is so different to all the other reactions I've done. Like, completely different. I'll speak about it after the video though, I don't like speaking too much during the video.
Okay. Oh, to my headphones are gonna break one day, I swear to God. Anyways, wow, that was really different. I'm not entirely sure how I feel because for me that's not that wasn't rap for me, but I don't know what the other music's like, so potentially the other music may be rap. But for me, I was reading the comments as well, and the comments are spot on. It's kind of like emo sounding, like not emo, but it's it's alternative uh, rock kind of music, but without the the backing of the rock music, so it doesn't have like all the guitars and stuff behind them, uh, and all the sort of hard rock music behind them. So it's the voice of the sort of alternative 2000s bands that were in Kerrang! magazine and on Kerrang! TV when I was about 13, 14 years old and I remember going through that stage and I had the hair that went over my face and stuff like that and I was part of that sort of crowd. So for me, this song took me right back to when I was an early teenager and all I wanted to do was wear black clothes and have black hair and wear black makeup and totally fit in with the cool crowd of goths and emos which I was kind of part of. So yeah guys, that took me right back. Wow, that was so different. I don't know what to say about it. I'm so undecided because for me, when I listened to, to the alternative music Back, all the way back then, almost 10 years ago now, I listened to that sort of music. I didn't like vocalists that sang like that and it bugged me when I was when back then, 10 years ago. I, I hated listening to songs where the vocalists were quite high pitched for guys. I didn't like high pitched singers for guys, I just didn't like it and I didn't, didn't listen to it for that reason because I just didn't, it wasn't my sort of music. I was more Limp Bizkit and uh, Green Day and all that jazz, Pearl Jam, sort of things like that. So for me, this is completely different to actually what I listened to back then as well, so it's a whole new genre for me. But the, I'm going to start with the backing track, so the backing track for me was so damn good. That was awesome. See if that was on a rap song as well, it would fit perfectly. It fits perfectly on this, it just, I'm just saying it would fit perfectly anywhere. That backing track was so good. The guitars, so simple, so nice, so calming. I loved listening to that, it was so good. The vocalists, I'm so undecided on, but I liked it in this song. I don't know if... Hi. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm 100% on the vocalist, but it works for this song. So I do like it in this song, because I think if it was in another song, like... the dog. It worked. It worked really well so I don't know how I, I, I think I need to listen to more of Little Lotus to figure out what I like about them. Hmm, about him. About them. Is it a group? I don't know. But even though it was high pitched singing it worked very well with that backing track. I think if it was a low pitched singer it wouldn't have worked well. So I'm gonna give that song a good is seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten because it worked so well together. It was so well put together. It was took me right back to my teenagehood. Basically, took me right back there. I was sitting here, turned into the sort of emo fringe and everything, and I was sitting here like, oh <laughs> no, it wasn't. But still, it took me back. And um, so for me, that was wow, whirlwind experience so different to how I thought that was going to sound. I thought it was going to be a rapper, I thought it was going to be some deathcore rapper or something, but it's not. I'm just so confused. I don't know what to do. I feel like I need to listen to more of Lil Lows to get a better impression. But I did enjoy that song. I think it worked really well. The lyrics were very much of the time back then when I listened to bands and they were all talking about getting dumped at the skate park and stuff. It felt very similar in this. So I feel like it's kind of matching up today's music with 2000s music and trying to fit them together and it works very well. It works very well. So I, I, I'm just so, don't know what to say. I'm, I, I like the song though. I really like the song. So thank you so much for that suggestion. I can't remember name. I'm going to give a shout out since I'm always being asked for this. Let me see, let me see. 
Huda H. Huda H. You always, always ask me for the Lotus and they have been asking me for ages so this is for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I think I'm going to have to listen to more Little Lotus to get a more better overall impression. But that was for you, um, Huda H. I'm hoping that's right. If I've said it wrong, I'm really sorry. But yeah guys, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that video. A very different sounding video. Something different, which is awesome because I love getting different sort of um, suggestions. Breaks it up a little, gives me a different insight to a different kind of genre of different stuff. So thank you very much, that was really cool. I enjoyed that, I enjoyed that. Thank you for all for watching and I'll see you all next time.